up and shake it. Screwing sixes as long as we're home by Saturday morning. Cause hey! We're the boys! Sports and their dice, watch the cat tattoos. I are we the boys! The Orthodox is sitting go deep. <laughs> Hello and welcome to City Facts and Zane Number Nine presents Let's Play Co-op Episode Two. Let's go to college. You may notice that Primus is in the background in place of Zane. He uh, he seems to have frozen up. I'm just waiting to be introduced. I already introduced that you. That was not an introduction. I'm here with my friend and a companion, Zane Number Nine. Coming at you like a boner and sweat tank. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was cackle. Now turn this goddamn song off. Introduction's over. All right. By the way, that was one known as Big Brown Beaver by Primus. So what are we doing here? Um, we're going through, uh, some, uh, fucking rooms, looking for Liz, which, by the way, that's who was calling Zane. Um, the audio was lost for that episode, this episode, so, um, we're doing it again. But, uh, yeah, Zane, Liz was calling Zane, right through the video game. Oh, excuse me. All right. So here we are. Oh, zombie! I'm gonna shoot that oh. fucker in the head. Oh no! Oh, no, I didn't. It's Liz. I didn't. She got humble though. <laughs> so. As you can see, me as Leon, I'm just like walking around, teasing it, teasing the controls, fucking running, staring at Helena's ass. I mean, it's a nice ass. Zane, as you can see, has a full view in his camera. He hasn't like <laughs> left that that angle at all. It barely <coughs> wavers. My God. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Um, so we had a lot more energy going into the last episode, I would think. Because it was like, we were just starting everything off. Now it's kind of like, fuck you guys. You know, you get whatever we feel like. Um, but uh, you may notice the audio is a lot clearer. That's a good thing. Um, we have a condenser mic now, and phantom power, which, uh, fucked my shit up the first time, so. I'm spinning in circles, stupid bitch. <laughs> and now Zane is moving backwards. Oh, no, nope, that's forward. Um, wow, that looked heavy. I did not think you would lift that. Fucking, you know Leon's thinking right now, just like, wish Ashley was here. All I'd have to tell her to do was hide in a dumpster. Could kill all the zombies and leave. She'd be with me in the next scene. Are you going to talk at all, or is this just going to be me? I don't know. I'm watching the game right now. <laughs> Um, Will she be okay? She's not gonna be okay. Spoiler alert, she's not gonna be alright. <laughs> but is anybody really gonna be alright? I don't know. What <laughs> 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 the fuck? Uh-oh. He's coughing. That's never a good sign. That's the consumption. 
<laughs> that's the consumption. <laughs> yeah, that's the TB. Get to him. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's not a good sound. Alright, now here, people, if you hit left, right, left, right, up, down, circle, circle, square, square, you get to see boobs. <laughs> now, if it doesn't work the first time, just keep doing it. <laughs> Eventually, boobs will appear. <laughs> Not any boobs from any of the characters, just a set of boobs on the screen, <laughs> floating, midair. Now, I would show you this. But I'm not going to. <laughs> um, I find that this is funny that, like, after all this, fucking, they're badasses, and they're still like, why does this have to happen? I'd be like, fuck it, let me kill some zombies. Do you notice that I am using a handgun? <laughs> yeah, and I am right now too, but that may change. Um, I think right about here is when I realize I have more than a handgun. You cheater. <laughs> yup, because I've played through the game. Wait, I also did have a thought off shotgun. Oh yeah, but I have a sniper rifle. Oh yeah, look at me, look at me, fuck that. Yeah. I have an automatic machine gun now. I'm just plowing through people. Like, I'm already pretty much at the objective. Um, and I think you, Zane, run right to the fucking gate with all the zombies. Yeah! <laughs> Taking them down! You, like, you don't... Like, let me through, I say. Let me through. I look and see the objective, and I'm like, oh, wait, nope, supposed to go through the door, and you're like, zombies! <laughs> so, now we're in here. This is a weird place. No, it's not. Well, I mean, why must you insist that this is a weird place? It is a security room. Because this is kind of when you realize Leon's a cold bastard. Is he cold? Because, like, he sits there and watches this, you he know? He it, you know? Like, we all gotta get our rocks off somehow or another. Yeah. It's he, just, what, it's been four years since Raccoon City? Yeah. I mean... He's like... He doesn't stop and get pussy all the time, I bet. <laughs> he, he's more for zombie on dude action. Um... But yeah, he just watches this, you know, and then he's like, after they get bitten, let's go. Now I want to go kill them. What's the girl's name? Helena. Helena. Helena Bobbitt, huh? <laughs> Helena Bobbitt. And she cuts off penises. That's old. That's old, old news, I hear. Yeah. What is this? What is this going on here? A load screen? Yeah, this is our first load screen. When I dance. <laughs> <laughs> What's some current news? Like, what's going on in the world? I listened to Lamar on the cat today <laughs> for a review on the Evil Dead. He said that there was a lot of blood. It was very violent. Mm -hmm. And they, there, there's no humor in it. The dark humor, which he said was in the first one. I had to disagree with my man Lamar, the people's movie critic on this, because the first one had very little to no humor in it at all. It had a very little budget. And, you know, the humor in it comes from the lack of money and prosthetics used in the film. Now, yeah. now the second Evil Dead, Into the Army of Darkness, of course, had great humor in them. Yeah, that was... But I would still very much like to, like to see the Evil Dead. Yeah, me too. Maybe we could, uh... Hey, 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 hey. Oh. We're, we're, we're in business yet. Alright, alright. We'll talk personal life. Alright, alright. Um, fucking... Yeah, actually, I... I oh, heard, I know, I'm a six-foot Asian. <laughs> I actually... I, <laughs> I actually heard it was, uh... It was actually a pretty good, well-made movie. Um, 
and like you said, yeah, a lot different than the first one. Just because of all the special effects that they could add now. Well, yeah, the first one had a budget of oh, I just three blew that thousand away. seven hundred or six. What was it? Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I totally missed that zombie right there. In an apocalypse, I probably wouldn't do much good. $375,000 was the original budget for the 1981 film. This Damn. one was $46 million, I believe? Maybe $36 million? Holy Somewhere in there. shit. So it was like 40 time, 41 times <laughs> more money. Damn. That's, that's intense. Um, What's intense is me op or you opening this door. Yeah. That was intense. Yeah, seriously. All right. Now here, if you look to the left, there's a soda machine. Yep. Oh, it was to the right. Gotcha. Oh. Yep. Freaking. I I think those soda machines are like little hidden things in the game. Like you see them. You keep saying like. I swear to God, I'm gonna hit you every time <laughs> I say you say like. Right. I think they're they're hidden things in the game. Like they're little. Uh, ow! God damn it! <laughs> oh, this could be fun. <laughs> this fucking hurt. All right. Um. So. The, <laughs> God damn it. There. <laughs> I don't know how to complete this. <laughs> you can't complete a sentence <laughs> without using the word. You know? Damn. This is really uh. This is really difficult. Not very strange. <laughs> okay. So. It's kind of like in Halo 2 where they put... That one was used probably. Yeah. <laughs> so, in Halo 2, they use the soda machines the soda as... Machines in Halo 2? Yep, as little bloopers for rooster teeth. Um, yeah, the rooster teeth soda machines. And I think you had another one that was something else to do with rooster teeth. But that was their homage to them. I think they do something close to that in this game. Are we done? Yeah. That was a bad ending. That was a fine ending. Okay. Then let's we, we can cut out some of that beginning part. Yeah. Let's do something else now. And since we're still oh, recording... Wait, we're still recording. So you know what? Yep. You know? Let's, let's put an actual ending on. Um, I wonder if so... All right, I guess that's going to wrap it up for the second episode. The The next one will, uh, hopefully, we will get to the sewers. Because that's pretty much the second chapter. Not quite, but second level. So. This sounds dumb. Yeah, a little bit. Um, very slack-jawed yokel type. But, yeah, hopefully we'll get there in the next episode. If not, well, you'll just have to wait for it because there's some funny shit coming up. Oh, so he's wrong again, folks. <laughs> wrong again. Goodbye. Goodbye. I was backstage at a festival in Germany Talking to a cute, fair-skinned brunette I asked her if she wanted to have a beer and if she liked our set I noticed that her hair was longer in the back I figured that's cause she's Canadian That's why I was surprised when she told me she was fully lesbian That's when I realized it was Sarah